Let me start by saying that I collect only electromechanical clocks. A model number 70 program clock made by E. Howard, the premier American clock maker, has always eluded me. That is, until now. This clock is really a mechanical clock, but has factory-added electromechanical components to ring bells. Here it is on the wall with other E. Howard clocks and a rare standard electric time slave mantle clock. I knew about the Model 70 program clock from images in E. Howard catalogs. This is the model number 70 program clock next to a typical number 70 case. Here you can see the top of the case is wider than a conventional number 70, but the design is the same. The increased width is necessary to make room for the program components. On the top of the program clock are electrical contacts for the bells and the power source. And on the side is an on-off switch and a contact to manually ring the bells. The 12-inch E. Howard dial has 12 holes in the chapter ring, one at the base of each of the Roman numeral hours. Five-minute insulated contacts protrude all 12 holes. A 6-inch machined hour ring is centered on the outside of the dial. Look at the beautiful machining of the hour ring. The hour ring has 144 threaded holes to accept programming pins. The hands themselves are unique. Both hands have contact surfaces mounted on the underside. This clock is in pristine original condition, but does it work? The answer is yes, it runs beautifully, but no, the bell ringing is faulty. I hooked the bell to the contacts on the top of the clock and was pleasantly surprised when I heard this sound. However, it's supposed to ring only when programmed, but not here. It actually rings when it reaches each of the 12 five-minute contacts. We figured that the ring problem must be due to faulty wiring. Before troubleshooting the ring problem, it would be helpful to understand how the program actually works. A look at the patent for the Contact for Electric Program Clocks, awarded to F. E. Smith on September 22nd of 1891, reveals how the Bell Program Electrical Contacts actually work. Also, it reveals how to set up the clock to ring a bell at any five-minute interval of any hour. Simply insert a pin in one of the 144 threaded holes in the hour ring. How come 144? Well, this is rather brilliant. Each hour is divided into 12 five-minute positions. Do that for all 12 hours and you get 144 pin positions. Each five minutes of each hour has a position for a pin. My electrical engineer friend Dan Argento did this wiring diagram of the clock and from the diagram we were able to find the problem. It is circled on the image and when corrected the clock functioned exactly as expected. We just had to move one wire and add an insulator. But how does it all work? So far we have seen that when each of the hands is touching a contact, it completes the electrical circuit. Next we need to look at the components behind the dial. The program clock itself is a very reliable and accurate model number 70 E. Howard weight-driven movement. Mounted to the case is a large outside minute ring and a small inside hour ring. 
The outside minute ring and the inside hour ring are insulated from each other and the clock movement. The minute ring is connected to the power source, giving potential power to each five minute contact. When the dial is installed, the hour ring on the dial is connected electrically to the inside dial ring. This ring is connected to the bell. Now let's watch the clock in operation. Notice the hour hand is now touching the 850 pin and watch as the minute hand reaches the 50 minute contact. The minute hand completes the electrical circuit and magically the bell rings. It can be programmed to ring on any five minutes of any hour. And I must say that now the clock is fully operational the ringing is actually music to my ears. My program clock story is now complete. You've seen all the parts and you've seen the clock in operation. But I would like to close with two very simple observations. One, this program clock may seem quite elementary, but please remember this was done 133 years ago. Marvelous at the time and still amazing today. And number two, the quality of E. Howard clocks is still unmatched. Thank you for watching. I have many other videos of amazing electromechanical clocks. They can be found by searching under my name or under at self-winding clocks. Subscribe and ring the bell if you wish to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you again.